Hey, what's up, guys? We are back on the top 10 list. This is now top 10 best cold snap slash frost by immune characters in the game. So it's going to be the same rules as the last one. Um, we're not going to be doing characters that shrug them off. It's only characters that have base immunity and resistance. So no Ghost, no Aegon, no all that shit, okay? So just keep that in mind. Obviously, for most scenarios, Ghost will be number one for pretty much every debuff in the game. But this is just base characters. Characters that have the debuff and their base kit, okay? Also, taking out Ghost and Aegon and all them will make it a little bit more interesting. And also a little bit less, like, brain power to involved. Because, you know, you take damage with Ghost if you have it on the her for, like, a second. With these characters, you just are fine. You don't have to worry about it at all. So, also, for Incinerate, Shock, and Cold Snap, the next three videos i got to record. Um, these videos are going to be a lot less competition. The Bleed and Poison was high competition. Cold Snap, Incinerate, and Shock, I was actually shocked. For just, like, base kits, I was very surprised with how few characters actually had these immunities. So, to prove my point with um, what it means by like bad characters have these immunities. Starting off at number one, okay. Number one, we're gonna start at, where is he? Mephisto. Mephisto is the 10th best cold snap and frostbite immune character in the game, just in his base kit. He has it, or is it, is it some, somewhere around here? Generates 12% of a bar per second instead of taking incinerate energy damage. I've taken incinerate energy damage and immune to frostbite and cold snap. So basically what that means is he gains power from um, incinerates, but he is immune to frostbite and cold snap. So, Mephisto. I'm gonna be honest, I never really used this kid, just I don't know what it is about him. He can permanently turn off buffs by stamming special ones. Um, he has a, I guess a fail safe, like if he takes a special three um, from his charges, if he's um, yeah, if he has this, the persistent charges up, he can just tank at least one special three and survive. Overall, there's not much to Mephisto. Um, for most Cold Snap Frostbite fights, I would advise using people higher up in the list because this dude is just not good. But he, you know, out of all the characters that just have Cold Snap and Frostbite resistance or immunity, he was number 10, which is kind of sad. Number nine, another not the greatest character in the game. Um, we got our boy Annihilus. Annihilus is immune to Cold Snap, Frostbite, and Incinerate. So he's double immune to the two temperature extremes. Annihilus is super good for Lionsworth defense, but when it comes to attack, he's just decent. He has a lot of armor breaks, which is actually pretty helpful for like um, Killmongers and Ember Frost and anyone who benefits from being armor broken. He's pretty good for incursions, actually, because he has so many debuffs he can place on them. So, yeah, Nihilus, there's not that much to him, but he's good for launch war defense, and he's decent for incursions, and he can armor break. But, yeah, he's number nine in the list. Once again, there's not that much to say about this character. Number eight, uh, I'm sorry to say another character that there's not that much to say about, um, Sabretooth. Sabretooth by himself is just decent. There's not much to him. He's cold snap immunity, and that's pretty much it. He's decent fury damage and some decent bleed damage, but there's not that much to him. Most people just use him for the Omega Red synergy. It's pretty much most of his use. But then his other use that he has is um, very interesting synergy with um, Sasquatch. If you have the Sasquatch synergy, Sabretooth becomes like beyond god tier damage wise. But other than that, like a standalone character, Sabretooth is just. Uh, he's just there. He's number eight on the cold. I mean, if you need a cold snap immune and you're in a new account and you don't have that much of a good roster, you know, he's there. You can use him. So, yeah, then we go to number seven. We go to the actual, like, spicier characters a little bit more. Number seven, we got our boy Silver Surfer. So, Silver Surfer is triple immune to shock, cold snap, and incinerate. But he's not immune, he's resistant, which is kind of better because, um, what's it called? Because. He can just regen from Willpower Mastery. He also, each of these debuffs um, count as a unique buff. And the way Silver Server works is um, every buff he has, um, it deals a certain amount of energy damage for each unique buff. So if he has like shocks and incinerates on him, you know, he does a little bit more damage. It's not that much, but it's still something. Um, I guess he's number one prestige character in the game. He has decent fury, armor break, and power gain. Um, with the power cosmic which he has um, but it's really nothing that special 
you can phase on heavies for like a second or two, which is a little bit interesting for some situations. Um, but then again, he's just a just eh, character. There's just not that much to him. Number seven on the list for best Frostbite minion character. He is the highest prestige in the game, and he looks really shiny, so he's cool. So, yeah, he doesn't need to be awakened either unless you care about prestige. It just gives him his buffs a little bit more potency. Not, like, super needed, but it's still there. Now I go to number six on the list. A character that's very old and definitely one of the first counters to this kind of stuff. Iceman. I think Iceman was one of the first characters in the game. First, like, good characters in the game to be immune to, like, Cold Snap and Frostbite. He's immune to, um... Well, this is interesting. Apparently, he's immune to incinerate, bleed, and poison. So he's not immune to cold snap. This dude is made of ice. I just threw him in the list thinking he would be. All right, guys, scratch that. This is a top nine now because apparently Iceman is not cold snap and frostbite immune, which is weird. I guess I'm tripping balls, but let's just replace him with Iron Man Infinity War. Let's just throw him in there. He's decent counter. Ignore that. Okay, now we go to number five. I really did not expect him to not be Frostbite immune. <laughs> um, number five, we got Emma Frost. Where is Emma Frost? I don't I only, I don't have her as a um, full five or six stars. So I'm just going to get her from here. Emma Frost, she has the ability in her diamond form to be Im immune to all five debuffs in the game. Um, uh, cold Snap, Shock, Incinerate, Bleed, Poison. She can be immune to everything. She can be permanently in this phase if you spam those special ones. Um, if you want to go to the other phase, she um, can put prowess on. She can get a lot of prowess, and she can fully counter evade. So I'm um, Frost just a good character to have on the team. She roids up your Colossus and um, a Mega Red, I think. Uh, yeah, I think maybe just Colossus, not a Mega Red, but she's just good to have on the team for Colossus, and Colossus is definitely a tank. So I'm Frost. Fully immune to like every debuff in the game and being able to fully counter invade. She's just number five on the list. Pretty underrated character. Not a lot of people use her or rank her up, but I think she's definitely worthy number five spot. Number four spot, we got our boy Warlock. Warlock is a triple immune bleed poison robot and cold step and frostbite. He's XL in tech, so he's insane for two of the variants. Um, he has the best. A heal block in the game, best passive heal block. If there's any crazy healing, is one of the best options almost every time. Um, what else? He has power drain on special one, crazy damage on special two, regen on special three. Uh, does not need to be awakened. Overall, Warlock, honestly, just insane character. Just really nice to have for any account with all the immunities he brings to the table. Now we're going to the top three. The top three, in my mind, are a lot like really far like there's a little bit of a gap between the top i guess warlock too i guess the top four have a gap like a massive gap compared to all the other characters in the cold snap frost but but these three characters are like next level so number three on the list we got colossus colossus went from dud to stud in like a second he is triple immune i believe bleed incinerate and cold snap and frostbite so and also if he's not fighting the tech character i guess he's immune to armor break and armor shatter which isn't like super helpful but it's there um basically he takes with if, if at a high stake he takes the cold snap and frostbite and any debuff he's immune to really and if you would get placed on him he would have a certain chance depending on the sig to just replace it with a permanent armor up buff and the way he works is you know parry heavy the more armor ups you have the stronger he hits he has some of the highest damage output in the game his special two hits like a fucking freight train Colossus overall is just such a good character. Definitely deserves this number three spot. His damage is just so high. It's just unparalleled. And he has triple immunities, which makes him super good too. One of them, of course, being Cold Snap and Frostbite. So he's number three on the list. Number two and number one, I think, can be interchangeable for the best Cold Snap and Frostbite immune character in the game. But at number two, I'm going to give it to... Where is this man? I'm going to give it a Human Torch. Human Torch is double immune. He's immune to the two temperature extremes of the game. He's immune to the Incinerate and a Cold Snap and Frostbite. What makes this guy so good is he basically can just reverse healing like a madman. You got crazy regeneration. He can just full reverse it and just make you kill yourself in like two seconds. His damage is extremely high and, it, and it's just exponential against Mystic characters and energy damage characters. It can go up forever. Um, his pre-fight ability put, um, gives, puts Nova Flames instead of normal incinerates on the opponent. 
and um, no character in the game is immune to it. His damage is just so high. He basically just destroys massive fights. That's what made him so good for the Abyss. Made him shine because he just proved his worth against these massive uh, mystic characters that you just can just shred in like one life. So yeah, Human Torch, well, his damage is so high, double immune. You can full counter miss, I'm assuming. Yeah, you can, you can full counter miss above a certain amount of temperature, above 10. So overall, Human Torch, just the damage over time and the ability to just destroy regeneration. Um, having damage that no one is immune to in the game. And um, being able to counter miss, he is the number two spot. The number one spot, it's got to go to my boy, Corvus Glaive. Corvus is triple immune, immune, or not even immune, resistant to bleed, cold snap, frostbite, and um, shock. Those three debuffs, um, they don't. he's not immune to them, but if it gets on him, he takes zero damage from them. So it's honestly better because if you have willpower, you can just heal from it. His damage is some of the best in the game. Guaranteed crits equals guaranteed damage. So if you revive him and throw him at a fight to just take a chunk off, you know what you're getting. You know you can get at least a decent chunk for like the revive worth. Um, he has armor breaks on parries, so he's super good for like Emma Frost, Killmonger. Unblockable special two that does massive damage. Special two power drains if they're at three bars of power, so you never have to worry about pushing them to three bars of power. You can fully evade, uh, you can fully counter miss an auto block with a Proxima synergy. His awakened ability pretty much lets him never die. Um, he's overall just so good. Like you can, like with his awakened ability, you can revive him, and at one percent health, you can just stay alive forever unless you get hit. But like you can immune to like every fun and directive damage in the game. So just for that reason alone, I think Corvus is the best. If there's a cold snap and frostbite fight, the fact that he's resistant to it also, you can heal. It just makes him so good. Like for example, you fight Vision Arcus. I go in there with my suicides. From my suicides, I'm healing from the bleed, I'm healing from Vision Arcus's armor break, and I'm healing from Vision Arcus's frostbite or cold snap, whatever it is. So I'm just healing like a madman. So Corvus, honestly, just number one character for, like, if you got any fight that's caught uh, cold snap or frostbite, he's probably going to be one of the best options. So yeah, that is my list for cold snap and frostbite immune characters in the game. Hopefully you enjoyed. Once again, the um, t first few characters were pretty weak, like Sabretooth and Nihilus and Mephisto. Once again, I apologize for Iceman. Um, I thought he was immune. He's number six in the list, but honestly, you could just replace Iceman on number six with Iron Man Infinity War. Like I said, if you have an armor up buff, he's immune to it, and you have armor up pretty often. So, yeah, I don't know about that one, but whatever. I don't really care to redo this video. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.